Today we spotted some interesting wardrobe choices, future friends, and incredible churches. The cat campaign grows stronger by the day, especially with support from other pilgrims starting to add up. We are leaving Nahara at 7 a.m. It's a crisp morning and uh, we're walking about 21 today to Santo Domingo de la Cazada. So we're excited to get there because we think we have a nice place to stay. And the more we walk, the more we realize we really appreciate a nice place to stay. The exit from Nahara was one of our favorite parts of the Camino so far because we were routed through one of the older and prettier parts of town. Cute little thing as we're leaving the Hera. Yura de Nahara. So it's a little chilly this morning and we just got passed by a guy who is hiking in his pajamas. Woohoo! We're celebrating. Why are we celebrating, Molly? 200 kilometers. Yeah, we just passed 200 kilometers. So we're about a quarter of the way there. It's day nine. Lots of vineyards. Yeah, we left at seven. We're passing some cool scenery. Oh, I got a backpack twin right there. You can see some of the cool scenery we're passing. So. It's almost like um, Utah or Arizona. Yeah, it does very much right here. Except for those vineyards. Yeah. My bird's a little different. We're going to a town that I've looked forward to, Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Hopefully it won't let us down. Almost every town we've been to, the outskirts are, you know, not great. And then the center of older part of town is really cool. That's been a pattern. Most of the time, if the town is small enough, it doesn't have outskirts, so that's fine. Yeah. Sorry, when you're coming up on a place to eat, it's little, but it has a cafe, and you don't have to walk through all the outskirts. That's ideal. Yeah. Well, Molly spots breakfast. See, in the town we're looking for up ahead is always a wonderful moment. We just crested a little hill. And now we see it. Yay. There's a Thofra. By the time we're there, I think it's gonna be about six kilometers from our hotel. Uh, the Wise Pilgrim map said 5.6 from Nahara, but you never know where they're starting that 5.6 from, so. Look how, uh, at this house right here, they've used grapevines to provide shade. Molly's taking advantage of their shade. We see several signs of success here in regards to breakfast. Metal chairs, Coca-Cola sign. Uh, lots of happy looking pilgrims. Molly's having her first fresh squeezed orange juice of the trip. It's one of her favorite things about Spain. What we found is the peop there are a lot of people on the Camino, but we keep seeing the, seeing the same people because those are the people that seem to be kind of on the schedule that we're on. Really good experience in that cafe. They had kind of uh, Andrea Bocelli type music playing and they played the song, The Prayer, which is just one of my probably five favorite songs ever. It was playing in there as Molly was drinking her fresh squeezed orange juice and I was having coffee con leche and tortilla. It's just one of those moments. It's very nice. All our Camino friends walking in and out. So today's starting out to be a good one. We've already walked six. The scenery on those six. I liked it as much as any scenery we've had this whole trip. We're curious what this stone thing is. I think it's an old crucero, maybe. Nice rest stop. 
These are our friends, Trina and Garrett. They're fast. <laughs> Buen Camino. We just saw the biggest caterpillar I've ever seen, and it was fast. Mm -hmm. And I was just super cute. I love seeing stuff like that. Do you know it would be faster and cuter? No. What? Cat. Ah. <laughs> Molly is a broken record. Okay. <laughs> Let me say this. I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person. Yeah, you could be a cat and a dog. Uh huh. The endless campaign. <laughs> These guys are so fast. They're like all business. And this guy's going down the trail. He's doing the Camino in reverse. He touched your trekker pole? Cool. I guess he was doing like a full face. Like a cat. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a little devious one right there. <laughs> In front of us, you can see a big stream of pilgrims. They've all passed us, but no worries. There's still a lot behind us, we know. It's like a race. There are people in front of you, there are people behind you. You're all going to get there in the end. So a lot of people dropped off the Camino in Logroño. Uh, you could do get to Logroño in seven or eight days. So people who want to take a week off, especially those, yeah, those were almost all Europeans. There will be some people who drop off in Burgos, but I think most of the people that are still on are going all the way to Santiago. And the concentration of Americans has gone way up because if you fly all the way over here from the US to walk the Camino, you're more likely to walk the whole thing. In the last day or two, we've noticed a lot of people have acquired knee braces, ankle braces, their legs are covered in KT tape, a lot of limping, um, people walking in sandals today because their feet are so beat up. So a lot of evidence that people are having a hard time. We are in Thiruenya. And there's a bar that way, but it says there's one straight ahead, so we're gonna stay on Camino and go to that. Uh, Santiago, straight ahead to Santiago. That's where we're going. Just climbed a hill. It looks like this last six to Santo Domingo may be kind of hilly. No problem. It's the end of a short day. I think we're, we've gone almost 17 and we still feel good. We, we're guessing it's going to end up at about 22 today. A lot of pretty wildflowers here. I'm glad we're here in the season when the poppies are blooming. We've been seeing those really since, since we started. The mountains in front of us. Oh, and I see Santo Domingo. Well, it's big. Didn't expect it to be big like that. This is a monument up above Santo Domingo de la Calzada. And it's saying, it's got a picture of a pilgrim and it's saying Santo Domingo de la Calzada. 1019 to 2019. Thousand years old, this town. Can't wait to see it. Obviously, the outskirts are not a thousand years old, but the downtown is. Your standard pig on a leash over there. I'm having my first paella of the trip. 
We just had a delicious lunch in Santo Domingo. And now we are exploring the old part of town and I think we may have found the cathedral. Across the plaza there is the Parador, which there are two Paradors in this town, which is interesting for a town that's not big. But uh, that one is not a historical building. Obviously it's on the main square, but it's not a historical building. The one we're staying in is not on the main square, but is a historical building, so. There's the cathedral and its tower. We're in the cathedral of Santo Domingo and we're learning that Santo Domingo was a saint who was born in 1019 and dedicated his life to helping pilgrims to Santiago by building bridges, hospitals, churches, and caring for pilgrims. If you're a pilgrim coming through Santo Domingo, don't miss going to the top of that. That was cool. You can tell how old these stairs are because they're not in very good condition. We're only part way up the tower. Look at the views already. We went to the bakery to buy some breakfast for tomorrow and some cookies for the way tomorrow uh, for a snack. And then we're having a coffee in the Parador that's on the main square. So we're here in the Parador in the middle of town in Santo Domingo. It's clearly renovated from a ruin, but the old part is beautiful. That's amazing. This is the Convento de San Francisco, the convent of San Francisco. And then attached to it is the Parador that we're staying in. Thank you, Parador, for the smooth walking surface. This is not the typical type of place that we stay on the Camino, but this is the Parador that we're staying in tonight. The room's not huge, but it has a lot of character. So this is the Church of the Con. Really, I think it's prettier than the cathedral. These altars are just off to the side, like they are just, you know. Yeah. This would be a treasure in anywhere else, yeah. So 
this building that we're in, obviously the inside has been completely renovated into a museum. The truth is we really did get a kick out of staying in this place. I mean, it's 500 years old. You can see our progress after nine days of walking, looking at the blue line in the upper right corner of this map. We ended the day in a much anticipated town, Santo Domingo. Though the parador we stayed in didn't have food, the bathtub certainly balanced it out. Touring the convent turned museum, Cathedral of Santo Domingo, and tower was great. Though the cathedral tower steps felt like a full-on workout to our weary legs. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.